Marvin Zuckerman Assessing Sensation Seeking Using the method of factor analysis, he identified four components of sensation seeking. Thrill and adventure seeking A desire to engage in physical activities involving speed, danger, novelty and defiance of gravity such as parachuting, scuba diving or bungee jumping. Experience seeking, the search for novel experiences through travel, music, art or a non-conformist lifestyle. Disinhibition, the need to seek release in uninhibited social activities, boredom, susceptibility and aversion to repetitive experiences, routine work and predictable people and a reaction of restless discontent when exposed to such situations. Characteristics of Sensation Seekers Young people are more inclined to seek adventure risk as compared to older people. For example, young people visit parties, rather late night parties, for boasting about their area of experience, flirt and just get drunk, whereas older generations go to such parties mainly for serious talks. Further, gender differences also exist in a very high quantity. Men score high on thrill and adventure seeking, whereas women score high on experience seeking. Behavioral Differences People high in measured sensation seeking enjoy activities such as mountain climbing, hand gliding, auto racing, skiing, scuba diving and parasailing. Whereas those low in sensation seeking generally do not have tendencies to enjoy or prefer such activities. Personality Differences Zuckerman suggested that high sensation seekers are egocentrically extroverted which means they are concerned with other people only as an audience or source of stimulation. They do not relate to other people in a dependent or nurturing manner. Further, high scorers openly express their emotions, are assertive in relating to others, are non-conforming and are confirmed risk takers. They act independently of any social convention and are governed primarily by their own needs and desires. The vice versa applies for the low sensation seekers. Cognitive Processes High sensation seekers are found to recognize symbols and figures more quickly than low sensation seekers, which suggests that high sensation seekers process information more rapidly. Further, they prefer greater complexity in visual stimulation, whereas low sensation seekers prefer stability, simplicity and symmetry. High scorers can focus their attention better than low scorers. Occupational Preferences High sensation seekers have a greater need for stimulating and varied experiences as they select different jobs compared to the low sensation seekers. High sensation seeking scale scores correlated positively with scientific interests and negatively with clerical interests. On tests of vocational interest such as the QDA preference record, men with high sensation seeking scale scores scored high showing interest in helping professions such as psychologist and physician. Their scores correlated negatively with business sector jobs. Women with high sensation seeking scale scores had high interest test scores for the profession of lawyer and low scores for elementary school teacher and dietitian. Attitudes High sensation seekers were shown to be more liberal in political and religious attitudes than were low sensation seekers. Those with high sensation seeking scale scores are more likely to express atheistic views rather than belief in any conventional faith. Also, they express more permissive attitudes towards sexual behavior, whether their own or that of other people. They scored high on measures of authoritarianism. Low sensation seekers also show a low tolerance for ambiguity. Physiological Differences 
Zuckerman and his colleagues found that high and low sensation seekers showed different physiological responses to stimuli. High sensation seekers demonstrated stronger or more highly aroused physiological responses and higher tolerance thresholds for pain, loud noise and other stressful stimuli. Because high sensation seekers are better able to tolerate increases in arousal. Zuckerman suggests that they should cope better with stress than can low sensation seekers who have a lower tolerance for arousal. In studies of high sensation seekers exposed to novel stimuli, researchers detected increase in the electrical activity of the brain and the level of sex hormones. The level of monoamine oxidase, which is an enzyme that controls the neurotransmitters which produces rapid emotional swings, showed a decrease which heightened feelings of excitement and euphoria. Heredity versus Environment There is a strong hereditary basis for the sensation-seeking personality factor. A twin study conducted by Zuckerman and Sibyl Isink confirms this. Although sensation seeking is primarily inherited, Zuckerman also recognizes the influence of the environmental factors and one such factor is parental sensation seeking. Low sensation seeking parents may be overly fearful, protective and inhibiting of their children, forbidding them to engage in adventurous behaviors, whereas high sensation seeking parents may encourage and reinforce their children for engaging in unusual activities, promoting additional sensation seeking behaviors.